back to another video. Um, this is going to be a special video. Um, I actually spent quite a bit of money trying to acquire the best skins for a $10 loadout. Um, all of these skins, collaboratively, will cost under $10 completely. And also, um, you'll be able to buy each and every one of these um, and have a skin for every gun in the game. So without further ado, let's hop into it. The first skin that we're going to get is a USPS Stainless. And this one I ended up getting had a sticker on it, which is pretty cool. Um, this was one of the first skins that I ever ended up uh, getting uh, for the USPS. And I really like it, actually. It's got a nice little special place in my heart. And it's not very common, so a lot of people don't um, really have it, you know? Next, we're going to go with the uh, Dual Berettas Cartel. Now, I chose these because I think they look really nice. They look good in every condition, and they're just really freaking shiny. Um... Like, look at that glare on them when you inspect them. Oh, it just, they look super nice. Alright, the next thing I wanted to do was a P250. And I found one that had a pretty high float in the market. You might have to look a little bit, but this one looks really good. It's the P250 Contamination. Now, I really like this one. I have a souvenir of it. Um, but it's a very cool looking P250. It's um, pretty unique, and it looks a lot like um, the Toxic Tech 9. Alright, the next gun you're going to want to get is the 5.7 Field Tested Nightshade. Um, out of all the field, the 5.7... This one's probably um, one of the cheaper ones. It looks pretty good and field tested, I'm not going to lie. Um, really all you're going to see is the, the back of the gun. You're not really going to see the front unless you inspect it. So it's not a huge deal uh, to wear. So let's hop into the next one. Alright, here we have the R8 Revolver Crimson Web Field Tested. Now I actually kind of like the field tested. Um, it looks kind of nice in my opinion. The beat up. So beat up. But um, you can get a minimal wear one for a couple more cents if you're willing to split it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think this gun looks really cool. Um, I personally don't use the R8, so I probably wouldn't even use this very much, but it looks pretty nice. It's a pretty high quality skin. Alright, another skin, if you choose to use it, is the P2000 Red Frag Cam. Um, this is a really cool skin. I personally very much like it. Um, I'll, oh, I forget to say, uh, I'll have all the, the prices, as you can already see, up on the screen. I just don't have them with me, so I can't really read them. But, um, this is the Red Frag Cam. A lot of people don't use it. I've actually never seen it in-game, but it looks really cool. Um, this is Field Tested, I believe, and uh, it's a pretty cheap skin, but it looks nice and not a lot of people have one, so you might um, be the only person in your game with one, which is really nice because a lot of people who don't have a lot of money go for the Pulse because it's really bright and flashy, but um, frankly, this looks really nice, and um, yeah, I think you should totally go for one of these. And for the Deagle skin, um, there's not really a lot of cheap Deagles, and the factory new freaking bronze deco it does look really nice if you get one without a too many scratches on the top now this one has a couple but it's not a huge deal um and yeah so i really like the bronze deco actually i have a stat trick one somewhere that i use Alrighty, i'm on the t side now with the glock bunsen burner field tested now i know what you're thinking come on isn't this the most overused glock skin in the game well yes Yes, it is. If you choose to go with a different one that isn't so overused, you could probably get a Catacombs for about the same price or a Candy Apple, but I personally like the Buns and Burner. Yes, yes, I know, you're raging in the comments right now. The Buns and Burner is terrible. Well, I actually like it. I have one that uh, has some nice stickers on it, and I think the Battle Scar one looks even more green. I almost went with one of those, but uh, then there'd be another comment rage. But um, I really do like this one, and uh, you can always substitute. Like, you don't have to buy this one. I mean, this is just my recommendation. I frankly really like the Bunsen Burner. Um, like, it's a pretty decent Glock skin, if you ask me. So, uh, this is what I chose. And for the last pistol skin, we have a Field Tested Sandstorm. Another one of the most popular guns in the game. Um, but yes, I chose it because it's very brightly colored skin. It looks really nice. Um, and... I mean, you're not going to be using the Tech 9 all that much, so it's not really a giant deal. If you really care a ton and you want to get a really nice Tech 9, you could always go for the uh, Isaac, probably, like, well-worn or something. But, um, personally, I think this looks really cool. You can get some that have all purple. You can get some that are all tan. You can, you can get some however you want. There's different patterns. There's different stuff. You know, it's all pretty much customizable. I have a Stat Trek one that's all purple, and I really like it. It's really cool. Alrighty, first order of business is the MAC-10 Candy Apple, another very brightly colored skin, very nice in factory new condition. Um, for those who don't um, have much money to buy skins, uh, the MAC-10 Candy Apple was my favorite up until I got my Neon Rider, so I very, very highly recommend it. Um, it's a nice little bright skin, it looks really good, and you can get a factory new one, 
Why wouldn't you want one that's pristine? Am I right? I'm right. Alright, the next one's gonna be a minimal wear urban hazard, I believe. Maybe this is field tested. I don't even remember, but um, it's a pretty cool looking skin. It's pretty bright, as you can tell. It's also very overused. So, if you don't like this one, you can go with an urban DD pad or an anodized navy, whatever you want. But this one, I personally recommend. Um, I like the MP7 urban hazard. I haven't used it in a very long time, so it's kind of nostalgic for me from when I first got the game. But uh, yes, I really do like this gun. And um, while it is very overplayed, I don't use the MP7 very much, so um, yeah, it's not really a huge deal. Um, the next one I actually had to go buy right before this video because I forgot to buy it. So, uh, this is the MP7, I mean, oh, I can't talk. It's the UMP Delusion. Um, it's like 20 cents on the market, I think. It's field tested. Um, it's, a, it's one of the cooler, cheap um, ones because it's in an older case. Uh, actually, it's not in an older case, it's just in a more expensive case now. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I personally like this one. I have a static one that I'm using because I lost my blaze. Moment of silence. Okay, but yeah, I lost my UMP blaze. Rip, whatever. Um, but yeah. Anyways, this is the one I'm using right now. It's pretty cool looking, and I don't use the UMP very much, but when I do, it's awesome. The next skin you're going to want to get is the module. And why the module, you might ask? Because it's way brighter than the Elite build. The Elite build you could get um, as well, but I picked this one because, frankly, it just looks nicer. Um, from the Huntsman collection, I believe. Very easy one to get if you want one. It's relatively cheap, and as far as I know, they all look the same. So you don't have to get a minimal wear one, but I believe this one is minimal wear. Um, it's not going to you know, blow out the bank for you, but it's a pretty nice one to have. Um, hey, look, it matches the, the ground. How nice is that? Alright, the last SMG, well, not the last one, but the last one for this loadout, I guess, because there's still the MP9 on CT, but it's going to be the field-tested Osiris. Now, um, factory new is obviously going to look way better, but field-tested, eh, it's not too shabby. Um, I don't use the Bison ever, so, yeah, I can't really say much about it. Alrighty, the last SMG you're going to want to get is a field-tested Deadly Poison. This is actually... One of the first skins I ever got, um, when I first got the game, I obviously bought a couple of cheap skins, and then I opened some cases. And on my second case, I got a flip knife, minimal War, ultraviolet pictured here. Ding. Alright, I'll put it up in the video. Anyways, um, this is a very cool skin. I ended up unboxing one as well, a, a couple of these really, because I was opening chroma cases at the time. Um, but yeah, this is actually a very, very cool looking skin. Alright, the first shotgun we're going to be looking at is the Novacoy Minimal Wear. Um, could get, you could get a candy apple for a little bit cheaper and then get a nicer other gun, it's up to you, whatever. But this is the one I'm going to recommend, I love the Novacoy. The Novacoy is very nice looking. Um, gets the job done quickly and efficiently, as all shotguns should. It's got pretty nice range and the headshot uh, kills are OP with this skin. So yeah, if you know how to use it, definitely get the Novacoy because you'll be showing off all your friends how cool your skins are and how OP your game is. Uh, the next gun you want to get is the freaking field tested Red Python Auto Shoddy. Now, I'm sorry how beat up this one is, but there is not very many cheap, nice shotguns for the XM. But this one I thought was pretty cool looking because I haven't seen it too many times in game. And you can, uh, I guess if you got a candy apple, you could get a nicer one of these. Um, but yeah, honestly, I don't use this like hardly ever, so you won't be using it too much unless you have to like force buy a last round or something. But um, it's still pretty nice shotgun. It gets the job done, and it looks nicer than the default, so that's what we're going for here, isn't it? Yes, we are. Um, we're going to get a minimal wear Mag 7 Heaven Guard for our Mag 7 skin, um, partially because it just looks awesome. Like, look at that little wing thing on it. It just looks freaking cool. And all the wares at the back, and it all looks perfectly fine. Looks like something out of, like, an America game, because it's, like, America colors, and yeah. So, um, <laughs> I really like the Mag 7, because you do, like, jump shots and stuff. But yeah, so this is a pretty cool skin for it. Um, you can get a stat track one for like a dollar, I think. But yeah, this one's not going to set you back too much. Alright, for the shotgun, you're going to want to get a sawed-off Yorick. I believe this is field tested. I've never seen this gun in game. This is the first time I've ever seen it. This is my um, actual first reaction. I actually think this is really cool looking. Um, the skull is super detailed. The uh, paint is looks factory new. And, um, yeah, it's, like, a really cool gun. If you like the sawed off, i definitely recommend you get the Yorick. Wow, this actually looks really awesome. It's like a golden version of the Muertos. Huh, I'm gonna start using this in-game. In my actual games. The next gun you're gonna never use ever, ever, because it's terrible, except for arms race, is the M249 System Lock. Now, it's a terrible gun. Worst gun in the game, arguably. But, um, it's a pretty cool skin. I'm not gonna lie. I like the red and the black. 
it's like a Cyrex kind of, but yeah, I just, just, no, it's disgusting. Alright, and the last skin you're going to want to get for the heavy collection, I guess, is the Bratatat Tat, because, um, well, frankly, I don't see this one as much as the other cheap ones, like the Man of War, the Terrain, or the other assorted ones that I can't think of off the top of my head, but yeah, you know what I mean, Desert Strike, that's what I was looking for. Anyways, this is a lot cooler than those, and, um, frankly, this is a pretty nice condition, I believe it's factory new, and it's not even that cheap, so, yeah, go for it, get this one, it looks not, it looks pretty nice, way nicer than the stupid MT-49 that nobody likes. Alright, shall we move on to Assault Rifles? Yes, we shall. Now, the whole way I put this um, video together was that we would spend more money on the more expensive items. But I mean the more ones you would use more often, like the AWP, the AK, the M4, um, the Glock, and the USPS. So we're going to spend more money on those than we would like the M249 over there, because um, nobody nobody uses that. So um, just know that the Assault Rifles are going to cost a little bit more than the rest of the guns. If you do want to spend more on the other guns, you're going to have to get a cheaper Assault Rifles. Alright? Without further ado, let's hop into it. The first assault rifle we're going to get is the uh, Galil Blue Titanium, I think, is what this is called. Um, actually never seen this in game before. It looks kind of nice. It looks pretty nice, not going to lie. Um, it's pretty plain, though. Uh, honestly, if you want a different one that looks better, I'm not going to blame you. Alright, you're going to want to get a well-worn emerald pinstripe. Now, this one I found on the market for market price, the cheapest one on the market at the time. It had two stickers on it that look really cool. So, um, definitely don't buy right away. If you want to wait and find one that has stickers, people sell these all the time. So, like, all you have to do is just wait a little bit, maybe scroll up a couple pages, pay a few more cents, maybe you'll get a cool sticker. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. But anyways, so this one, um, well, let me get to it. Uh, it looks really cool. It's well-worn, but you can't tell because it's all the, the color and it's not really a huge deal. So, you're just in a lobby with your friends, and they're like, Whoa, dude, that's some sweet stickers. It's a cool skin. Yeah, it's only like a dollar or whatever. But, yeah, it looks super cool because the stickers. And I really like the green and the white on the front of the gun. I don't know the technical term, but, yeah, the front will do. For the uh, Call of Duty gun, or the SG-553, whichever one you know it as, you're going to want to get a field-tested pulse. Why? Because it's bright. I know, it's pretty beat up. But I actually had a field test one for a really long time, and I never noticed until I started caring about the wear of skins. So, if you really, really, really care, you can go for the big bucks and go for a minimal wear one. But this one is really high float anyway, so it's pretty beat up as a field tested in general. But um, I bought the cheapest one on the market, which you can do for sure. But uh, if you really care, you can, find a ch you can find a little bit of a better one, I'm sure. I'm sure you can. The long-awaited op skin, a field-tested pit viper. Now, this one has a pretty good condition on it, um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, th it's got some wear in the back and a little bit on the front, but most of the time your field-tested ones are gonna look a little worse than this, um, unless you really look and find a better one, which is definitely possible, like I did it, and it didn't even take me that long, it probably took me like 10 seconds, but um, it cost me like 2 cents maybe more than, I, I mean, the price I'm putting in the video is what I paid. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, the Pit Viper. I really like the Pit Viper. I actually am going to use it in some of my games. Sorry about the friends in the corner. Um, but yeah, this is like, I'm actually going to use this in my games. Like, it's a cool skin. Like, don't let anyone say, oh, you got a Pit Viper, you're not cool. You're not cool at all. Like, you're just the M249 of people. No, um, this is a really, really cool skin, and I actually like it a lot. Um, a lot of people have, like, Battle Scarred, what's it called, Safari Meshes? Yeah, don't, dude. Please, just... Just don't. <laughs> Go for the Pit Viper. The Pit Viper is way cooler, am I right? I'm definitely right. I'm always right. And for the auto, you're going to want to get a Murky. Now, these are usually like 20 cents, I believe. Um, it's actually the only G3 whatever I have, because I really don't use the auto ever. I, I hate the auto. But, um, wow, that's not what I meant to do. Um, the G3 SG, whatever, is really cool uh, in the Murky. It's nice, low profile, still looks better than the default. And it's not too flashy or anything. I made a mess. Alright, for the FAMAS, you're going to want to get a field-tested teardown. Now, yes, I know, it's super beat up, but so is every other FAMAS skin in the game. And I never see this in comp games. So, I thought it would be a pretty cool one to get. It looks pretty nice, it's relatively cheap, and not a lot of people have it, so they probably won't know what it is. Um, but yeah, you can just be like, oh yeah, it's from an older collection, you wouldn't understand. 
Um, but yeah, so the Famas Teardown, very, very nice skin. You can also get a P90 Teardown, I believe, so you should do that if you want to. But, um, it kind of looks like a red and blue snake, got, like, coiled around it. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is going to be a field-tested Nitro. Uh, it costs, like, a dollar, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, the Nitro is really clean, really nice looking. You can get some with stickers if you want. But yeah. It's a really clean looking gun. I love my Nitro. I have a factory new one from a trade up a long time ago. Um, but yeah, it's just a super clean looking gun. It's not too expensive, not gonna break the bank, but still very cool looking. A lot better than the Boreal Forest or whatnot that you're probably using right now. We're also gonna grab a SCAR 20 Outbreak. Um, field tested, I believe. I mean, you're not gonna use the SCAR too much unless you're like a straight up silver one, then you probably will. Um, but I honestly don't recommend the auto but if you're going to use it get one of these bad boys because it's only 20 cents and it looks freaking dope as well at least as dope as a scar 20 skin could look i almost forgot you're also if you're gonna if, yeah, i almost forgot if you're a fan of the m4a4 you're gonna want to get a jungle tiger field fed field field tested you're gonna want to get a jungle tiger field but i i i eh. Alright, anyways, <laughs> if you're a fan of the M4A4, you're going to want to get an M4A4 Jungle Tiger Field Tested, because it looks very cool. I actually use this when I use the M4A4. Um, it's it's pretty old, so not a lot of people have it, people don't really know what it is, but it looks really cool uh, in my professional, non-professional opinion. But yeah, I think this looks really cool, generally run around a dollar to 70 cents or whatever, but yeah. Anyways, it's a very, very, very cool skin. I recommend you get it if you like the M4A4. You could also probably get a field tested Daimyo, but I ain't about that generic life. And you already probably know that since you're watching my videos. If not, and you're a new subscriber, you should check out my videos. I make some pretty cool videos. But <laughs> if you are if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support. Leave a like, own a comment, tell me what I could have done better, tell me where I messed up. If um Oh, also, the intro that I'm going to put at the beginning of this video, I just made, so let me know how you like it. I can change it or get a new one. I honestly don't care. But I'm making one um, for the videos starting now, so this will be the first video it's in. So, woo -woo, hype. But, um, anyways, tell me if you like the intro, because I'm really trying hard to improve the video content of um, this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.